All right, I'm really excited to show you how to do moderation in Smart PLS. Now there are two different types of moderation. There's multi-group moderation and then there's interaction. For multi-group moderation, you can just use my um, PLS video uh, on PLS Graph. It's the same concept, same idea. You split the data set, you test both models, then you take those values and stick them into my tool, my stats tools package in the chi-square threshold tab and you check um, the differences between two groups per path uh, just like that or if you're really savvy and you think you can figure it out um, I have let's see I have over here at the very end a, an unrefined group differences where you can test all the paths simultaneously so that's up to you but this video is for interaction so let's say you have a model like this and ethical concerns and unsupportive boss predict satisfaction with work but you'd like to see if there's an interaction between these two such that uh, an increase in unsupportive boss changes the relationship between ethical concerns and satisfaction with work. The way you test for interaction is you have to multiply all the indicators of ethical concerns times all the indicators of unsupportive boss. So you'd have a new item called EC1 times UB1 EC1 times UB2 for another one, EC1 times UB3 for another one. It, it, it's a real pain in the rear. So um, Mr. Ringel, who uh, developed this software, I believe, made it so you can just right-click a dependent variable, create a moderating effect, and then specify. I'd like the moderating variable to be unsupportive boss. I'd like the predictor variable to be ethical concerns. And let's see, I'd like to use original indicator values. I'd like to standardize. That's what I'd like to do. Standardize them. And finish. And check this out. It made this for me. I'm going to hide these really quick. Well, no, I'll just open it up. And kaboom! There they are. See? EC1 times UB1. EC1 times UB2. All of them. I'm going to go ahead and hide those again. And then you just run it. PLS algorithm finish and here it is looks like the interaction effect is very minor um, we can see how significant it is do a bootstrap and it looks like that is less than 1.96 so it is probably not a well it is definitely not a significant interaction and that's how you do it